Is there a way for me to record the iPad screen as well as the camera at the same time? Like if I want to do educational video, can I do that? Yeah, there's definitely a way, but it's not official. It's like a, it's like a hack. It's not an official way to do it. I can show you how to do it though, if you're really interested. Yeah, show me, but listen, it sounds a bit sketchy to do like this hack, hack or whatever you want to call it. It's not hack it's nothing like that. It's fine, it's just you do the split screen using a certain like website and an app and, and stuff if you want to do that. Uh, you know what, I do need to know how to do it, so go on, if, if you can, just you show me please. Well, hang tight, let me play this game first and then I'll show you how it's done. Hey, welcome back to Base Grade. On this channel, we do math tutorials as well as simplifying educational tech using the iPad. Now, you might have gathered from the intro that what we're going to be doing today is we're going to I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to record the screen as well as an active camera view on your iPad. Now, you can't actually normally do this, okay? So, for example, if I bring up the the camera app here, if I just bring up camera, and you think, oh, okay, why don't I just sideload it? I can, what I can do is I can just uh, Put the camera app in split screen and do it like that well when you do that and let's say look you can't really load um you can't load this into split screen you can't have the camera in split screen it, look it doesn't let you do it okay what if we use a different application so i've got like filmic pro for example okay and filmic pro is another camera app it allows the camera to uh to come online so i can go down here and i can select uh the front camera, I can switch this around. Selfie cam. Okay, so now I've got myself. Now can I sideload this into a split screen uh, application? Let's see if we can do that. Again, let's bring up notes. It doesn't let me do it. In fact, it even pauses the camera. I can't actually load it. I can't do anything with it. So, Filmic Pro don't work. What about like one of those um, Zoom or one of those applications? The fact of the matter is, there is no application where you can run um, like a picture-in-picture, picture. you can't even get picture-in-picture, picture, but you can't run a split-screen camera and your notes app at the same time, as well as recording, so going up here and actually recording, you know, pressing on screen record for the tutorial. And a lot of you have asked in the comments below that how can I make an educational video where I've got a live camera and I've got a screen recording of my annotations. So here, I'm gonna show you now, let's take that off. This is the way to do it. This is the best way that I found to do it. Uh, and it and it does work, okay? So what to do, go to the internet, go to your Safari browser and type in webcam test, okay? Type in webcam test, press enter. You'll get a few websites here. The one that I found that works the best, okay? There is one that works better than all the rest and that's called www.onlinemictest.com. Now use this at your own discretion, okay? Because disclaimer is, is I'll, I'll click on it, I'll show you. They say that, um, look, your privacy is important to us. Okay, all of the tests are run on the client side, meaning it runs on your side, which means that we do not and we cannot record, we cannot see and we cannot record uh, the image coming from your webcam. Now, they say that the website seems very legit uh, and it really is just there for you to do a webcam test, okay, to see if your webcam works. Now, look what we're going to do here. If we click, it says, here's the instructions, okay? Press the play button. Click allow to, if you get asked a question, to allow the camera, access to the camera, and then you should see your uh, your view, okay? Your camera on. So I'm gonna click on, it says here, uh, onlinemictest.com would like to access your camera. Let's allow that. And now look, my camera is running, it's working perfectly fine. And you can see here, it's running about 60 frames per second, which is, which is brilliant. Now, why this website over others? Here's my little camera here. Why? Because it allows you to go full screen. Now I'll show you why that's great, okay? So now what we can do is go to the dock and pull up your note-taking application. So that could be like Apple Notes, it could be Notability, it could be Good Notes, whatever note-taking application you wanna uh, use. And what we can do here is we could go ahead and do full screen, and then we can do this into like a one to three ratio, okay? And now I've got all the space to write my notes. Now that's not, that's not the complete 
end of the story. What you need to do here is we also need to do a screen recording. So I can literally pull this down from the top, okay, and I can start my screen recording, make sure that the mic is on as well, okay? So yeah, I wanna start that screen recording. Let's press the screen recording. The mic is on, brilliant. Now look what's happened. We have started screen recording. We've started screen recording with the camera, active camera and the notes. So now I can start writing, I can start typing here. Okay, so I can, I can say, for example, you know, it does, it's gonna let me type here. Okay, so lesson one, we're gonna be dealing with algebraic tiles, okay? And now I can just start doing my lesson as well. I can start um, drawing or writing here. You know, what if I just wanna do some tiles? Okay, I can write, annotate on the screen while I'm recording my camera. This is the only way that I found that you can do it on, on an iPad, okay? Because unfortunately you can't um, run the camera app as a picture of picture as well as taking your notes as well as doing the screen record at the same time. Although the hardware is very capable of doing it, the software that hasn't optimized us to do that. I'm sure in a future update, uh, you are gonna see native applications that allow you to do this. Uh, for now, this is a, a brilliant hack that I found that you can use to um, record your screen, take your notes, as well as a live uh, camera. Look how clear this is, this is fantastic. You know, as a tutorial, just make sure you're looking at the camera over here. Um, I'm not looking at the camera, but make sure you're looking at the camera over here and it's recording your audio as well. Now, I'm just gonna pause that. Of course, look, we can highlight, we can shade, we can do everything that we need to do here. Okay, maybe this uh, tile is gonna be X. Well, I should do it a bit thicker. Okay, maybe that tile is X. That's X by X, X squared. And you know, I'm just doing some algebraic tiles here. Yeah, whatever the lesson may be, it doesn't really make a difference to you what this demonstration is, but you can now actively do this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause this. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. And then let's just come out of split view as well, get rid of that and come out of here. I'm just gonna show you if I go to my photo gallery, okay? If I go to my recents, look at this. This is recorded. I'm gonna quiet down though so you can hear it. Now look what's happened. We have started screen recording. We've started screen recording with the camera, active camera and the notes. So how awesome is that, huh? So you can now make tutorials. You don't even need a secondary camera. You don't need this camera. You don't need this camera here you can record without a secondary device, plus you can, you've got your live um, camera view and your digital notes that you're sharing with your students, okay? Why is it important to have a camera view? Because it makes it more interactive, it makes it more personalized for your students, your teachers, your parents, enterprises, whoever you're making this tutorial for, it makes it far more in engaging uh, and personalized for them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing, turn on notifications. It really helps the algorithm push videos forward. And let's try to grow this community. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>